recent discovery, the remains of a 200,000 year old advanced civilization have been found in Africa. The incredible discovery made in South Africa, around 150 kilometers west of Port Maputo. And there we find the remains of a huge metropolis that measures, according to tests, around 1,500 square kilometers. This ancient city is, according to researchers, part of an even larger community with about 10,000 square kilometers and is believed to have been constructed 160,000 to 200,000 years before Christ. The region is somewhat remote and the circles have often been encountered by local farmers who assumed they were made by some indigenous people in the past. But oddly, no one ever bothered to inquire about who could have made them or how old they are. This changed when researcher and author Michael Tellinger, in association with Johann Hein, a local fireman and pilot who had looked at these ruins for years, decided to go and investigate them. And as you can see, definitely they've been overgrown. The original aerial picture shows them overgrown with greenery, uh, just like, you know, the ancient uh, pyramids of Latin America, the ancient pyramids of China were overgrown with greenery. And uh, this shows, though, that there was construction underneath. Hein had a unique opportunity to see the incredible structures from the air. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. And here we are again, the aerial view of them. And uh, he, knew that, he knew that their significance was not appreciated. Most people didn't even know these were there. Now, when Johan first introduced me, Tellinger said, to the ancient stone ruins of Southern Africa, he had no idea of the incredible discoveries we would make in the following years. The photographs, artifacts, and evidence we accumulated point towards a lost civilization that has never before been and precedes all others, not for a few hundred years or a few thousand years, but many thousands of years, Tellinger said. According to Tellinger, these discoveries are so incredible that it will need a complete paradigm shift in how we view our human history. The surrounding geology is interesting due to the numbers of a number of gold mines located in the vicinity. Researchers have proposed that a vanished civilization from the distant past could have lived and prospered and proposed in that part of the world while mining gold. They point to the ancient Anunnaki. Please view the video before this one concerning the Anunnaki gods and the Igigi and uh, the Igigi replaced finally by humans mining gold and uh, according to Anunnaki legends. The Anunnaki, the extraterrestrial space aliens that came from outer space to mine gold, it could be that it was monatomic gold they wanted for their anti-gravity craft. Anyway, they could point in this uh, situation to Anunnaki, ancient aliens. The Anunnaki timeline coming to Earth according to Sitchin is this, 450,000 BC, after long space wars, after the atmosphere of Nibiru began to deteriorate and became a hostile place for life, the Anunnaki needed gold to repair their atmosphere. According to researchers, we can use gold nanoparticles to repair our damaged ozone layer. Okay, we're talking about monatomic gold here. 445,000 BC, uh, the Anunnaki aliens landed on Earth and established their base in Eridu, wanting to extract gold from the Persian Gulf, and they were led by Enki, the son of Anu. Anu, is, as well as the name used by the Native American Indians for the uh, star people that used to come to visit them, they called them Anu. Now, the 416,000 BC, gold production fell which made Anu come to Earth, and besides him, his son, other son, and Lil arrived. Anu decided that mining would take place in Africa and promoted Enlil in charge of the Terran mission. 400,000 BC, 
in southern Mesopotamia were seven developed nations. Among the most important were Sapir, Nipur, Nipur and Shurupak. After the metal was refined, that is the gold metal, the ore was transported from Africa with ships and sent to orbit, into orbit. And you can take a look at the incredible structures and the, the uh, coordinates are, I'll leave a link below for you there. Um, these incredible ruins mostly consist of stone circles. Most have been buried in the sand and are only observable by plane or satellite. Some have been exposed to climate change that has removed the sand, revealing the walls and the foundations, as you can see. Tellinger said, I see myself as someone quite open-minded, but I admit that it took me over a year to figure it out, and I realize that we are actually dealing with the oldest structures ever built by man on Earth. The main reason for this is that we have been taught that nothing of significance has ever come from South Africa. Powerful civilizations all emerged in Sumeria and Egypt and other places. Now, according to Tellinger, it shows that the Sumerians and even the Egyptians inherited all their knowledge from an earlier advanced civilization that lived in the southern tip of Africa more than 200,000 years ago, mining gold. These were also the people who carved the first Horus bird, the first Sphinx, built the first pyramids and built an exact stone calendar right in the heart of it all. Adam's calendar is a flagship among millions of circular stone ruins, ancient roads, agricultural terraces, and thousands of ancient mines left behind by a vanished civilization, which they now call the first people. These were the ancestors of all humans today with an advanced knowledge of energy fields through planet Earth. They carved detailed images into the hardest rock, worshiped the sun, and are the first to carve an image of the Egyptian Anke, key of life, and universal knowledge, 200,000 years before the Egyptians came to light. Tellinger presents this groundbreaking new evidence in which is released in his latest book, Temples of the African Gods. It graphically exposes these discoveries and will undoubtedly be the catalyst for rewriting our ancient human history. And you can read more on ancient uh, African metropolis in the link below. This is uh, by Michael Tellinger, his uh, images and on ancient code. It's uh, on Humans Are Free by Alexandra Light. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.